my channel and to another grocery haul. So it's Saturday, it's actually Saturday evening when I'm doing this intro um, because I completely forgot that I needed to do one for my grocery haul, if I'm honest. So hello, welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, my name's Claire and I'm a mum of three in the southeast of the UK and I do grocery hauls every week. So um, I have been to Sainsbury's to do a click and collect because I got another voucher through on my email saying if I spent £60 or more, they'd give me £12 off. So I'd be silly not to take that. So I just done an online order and went and picked it up this morning. Um, which is really handy. So I will show you what I've got in my shopping now. If you'd like this video, please um, subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, click the like button, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it and leave me a comment down below to say hi, especially if you're new around here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate all your support so much. And um, yeah, I will show you what I have got in my shopping and then at the end I'll go through my meal plan with you and let you know how much it cost. Okay, so I'm going to start with the frozen and the fresh meat that I have bought this week. So over here I've got some roast potatoes. Where I remember prices, I will let you know what they were. These were £1.50 and I just thought because I want to do some roast dinners going forward but I don't often have the time to do all the prep for them that I would just cheat and I would just buy some and see what they were like because there's nothing wrong with convenience when you need it i'm a very busy working mother and time is a um commodity that i don't have a lot of to waste so frozen roast potatoes for roast dinners and then i've also picked up these stanford street 15 yorkshire puddings the ingredients on them are literally all the same as what you would if you made your own but you're just not making your own you're just chucking them in and they're good if you have a casserole you can put them on the side of casseroles to bulk up the dinner my children don't really eat them but i am going to try and get them to try them so we'll we'll see um but yeah i just and it's a big one how many are in here 15 and it was like 44p or something silly like that for these so i got those and then one pound seven for some whole green beans i love green beans my children hate them but um me and my husband really like them and then some super sweet sweet corn i can't remember how much that was maybe one pound fifty something like that um yeah because that's one vegetable my children will eat and lily is slowly but surely starting to eat them i do have to stand over her and give her one bit at a time but she will eat some so it's progress progress over perfection and then meaty things so six sausage patties i didn't actually check the ingredients on these where are they they are oh where are the ingredients gone okay here we go so there are the ingredients as you can see there's nothing really in there that you wouldn't have apart from diphosphates that isn't you know all okay so six sausage patties my kids love these in um in the morning for breakfast between two bits of bread or this week i've actually bought some muffins i put them in pita bread sometimes for them um yeah they're just a really good breakfast to set them up for the day get some protein into them and they were two pound 90 which is more expensive than aldi but you know it's it's fine and then fresh meat i bought these naked pork sausages both the thin broad ones these have also got nothing bad in them they've not got the um sodium nitrate i think it is that they put into sausages and like cured meats and things that is really bad for you i can't remember how much exactly these were but they were on a club card offer i only buy them when they're on a club card offer because otherwise they're quite expensive and we do need two packs to feed us because there's five people in this family um i got a thing of chicken breast fillets i think this was six pounds something so this will do one dinner for us i have got some others in the freezer um that I'll be using because I'm doing two chicken dishes next week. I'm doing fajitas one night and a Thai red curry another night. And then I bought two things of pork mints. So we'll use one for one dinner, one for another. I'm doing a bolognese. I do substitute beef for pork because beef doesn't agree with my husband's stomach. So we don't really eat much beef in this house now. Um, but that's okay because pork is cheaper. So yeah, got that. I think what we're we doing with it. I've got a bolognese earmark for one. Oh, and a chilli for another. So those will all get used next week. And the sausages, I'm going to do a sausage roast. Okay, so next I'm going to move on to the fresh and chilled stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I'll start over here with my milk. Four pints of milk. Um, we will need, obviously, more during the week. 
<clears throat> I do get one pint delivered midway through the week from Milk and More, and they drop off um, Happy Monkey milkshakes for the kids too. But I just, I just we get through quite a bit of milk, so I prefer to go and buy it from the shops as well. Then uh, so that was one pound forty-five. Then seventy-four p for two garlic baguettes, which you know, if you know, you know, we get through a lot of this. Um, six British free-range eggs. Oh, they're white. Ooh, because I didn't check to see if they had, were not broken. That's cool. Like white eggs. Um, I know all, all eggs are white in America, aren't they? So tell me, if you're in America, do you have brown eggs like ours? Um, and do you get excited like I do when I open up and go, oh, they're white eggs. And what makes them white? Do they get bleached or is it like a different type of hen? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments if you do know. Um, right, then I've also got some wafer thin chicken slices for sandwiches. We've still got some ham left over from next from last week, but I don't want them to have ham all the time. And then back here I've got some Happy Monkey milkshakes because they were only a pound and that was a really good price. So they'll go in their lunch boxes one day next week or they'll have them over the weekend. Yakult for my husband, that's £3.75. And then I bought these. I can't remember exactly how much these were. Maybe £1.75. They were on a club card deal uh tikka bites pepperoni chicken my eldest likes these and they're not great on ingredients so i don't buy them all the time but he likes them so they'll be good in his lunchbox and then refrigerators again i don't remember how much these were i think they were on an extra price but there's three packs in here these are better on the ingredients than the um they are better on the ingredients than those but they're still not fantastic because they are processed meat um pizza flavored cheese strings these were on a club why do i keep saying club card offer i'm sorry not club card it's nectar price isn't it because i'm at sainsbury's um strings and things pizza flavor one pound 25 to four my eldest loved those so i had to get him those ones then for my youngest she's the only one that eats yogurt got her these wildlife tubes they were a pound each there's six in a pack i think <clears throat> yeah Six in a pack, so she's set for the week because she gets her a lot of yogurt, especially if she knows they're like tuby ones, she'll want them as a snack at home too, not just in her lunch. Then I've got Pink Lady Apples, they were two pounds something. I just bought one pack this week because I had three packs of apples last week and I've still got a pack of Pink Lady Apples left because um, I had the little ones for them to take in their snacks to school. And um, yeah, so we just haven't got through them all, so I only needed one pack. Then I bought these easy peelers, but they don't feel, or they do feel like they probably will be quite easy, easy to peel. They're one pound something. They're quite big as well. And Charlie and me and Gareth will eat those. Red sealer scrapes for me and my husband. I think they were one pound eighty. Then seventy eight p for some bananas because um, me, Lily, and Gareth eat these. Lily takes them a lot for her snack at break time. Little gem lettuce was sixty p for these two little ones. I think it was 69p for some cherry tomatoes. Me, it would seem that now that I'm starting to talk, I've got a frog in my throat. It is quite early, so it's only 20 past eight. So I've got a whole cucumber here, that was 89p. £1.79, I think, for some peppers. Quite a small orange one there. I do still have some from the big family pack I got last week. And a pack of carrots that I can't remember how much they cost either, probably about 60p. And then moving on to our last lot, we've got dried and cupboard stuff with the household. So I've got two packs of the eight plain tortilla wraps. Um, I got two because just in case one isn't enough when we have tortillas, not tortillas, fajitas, I mean, that would be enough when my husband isn't here because he's away for work. Um, so, but if we have leftovers, which we will have leftovers because four of us aren't going to eat 16 wraps, but you know, Zach's growing, he might want three, Charlie might want three. Um, yeah, so there's two, and then leftovers can be used for wraps for lunches. I got some plain bagels because I love these with butter, Charlie loves them with chocolate spread. I got some eight, eight chocolate flavoured waffles and Lily wants one of those for breakfast now so I better make that for her in a second and um, these were £1.95 these were only 79p and these were 89p each the tortilla wraps um six white muffins to use the pork patties in these are so good with butter and jam as well and Zach was a baby um this used to be my favorite breakfast i because i was breastfeeding so i was using a lot of calories i used to have two muffins with lots of butter and jam love them toasted oh so so good um and then i got another pack of scotch pancakes i'm not sure why though because i've just found two packs in my freezer um but the kids love these either with chocolate spread on that gloves them with just a sprinkle of sugar or jam as a breakfast lily and charlie both love these rice crispy cereal bars the ingredients are not bad in them so 
quite happy to give them those. They're £1.35. These pancakes were 49p. Then they had the bear yo-yos on offer. So the kids will be eating these next week. They're £1.90 for packs of five, but they get 10 rolls because there's two rolls in a pack. I got two packs of the raspberry ones and one pack of the apple. And they are brilliant to pop in lunch boxes because uh, all three of them are still having pet lunches. Even though Zach has gone to secondary school, he's still having a pet lunch every day. I have said to him he can get stuff from the canteen sort of like every other Friday, but I just want him to have, you know, as healthy lunch as possible. Um, also, I think it's cheaper to do pet lunches too, and I'm not made of money. Oh, look, here's another pack of Scotch pancakes, actually. So there we go. Two packs of those. I did think I ordered two. Um, I have got some pineapple in juice to put in Zach's lunches, little pots, four pots there, and those were £1.95, I think. Self-raising flour. I don't remember how much that was, but it was pennies. It's one point. Uh, 79p I think for 1.5 kilograms because last night I did a keema matar for dinner um, and I wanted it with like flatbreads and I had no flour left so I couldn't we had to have it with rice it was still really nice but I did want, want flatbreads instead um, salted peanuts for me to snack on as I am now I feel like I'm back on track with my diet after a holiday to lose my holiday weight and get back onto healthy eating so I like to snack on nuts um, chili con carne, oh and I buy peanuts instead of cashews because I won't eat so many of them, <laughs> whereas cashews go down far too easily. Um, chili con carne mix for the chili I'm going to do this week, I think this was like 60p or something, and I checked the ingredients on that, and it's all absolutely fine, all natural stuff you would have in your cupboards. And then I've got some Stamford Street instant hot chocolate drink, also you would think that this wouldn't have like good ingredients in it because it's the cheapy kind but it's actually all right and there's no sweeteners in it either um and i can't remember how much that was but it was only one pound something and i've got some chocolate spread which is the best chocolate spread this and the stockwell one from tesco it's so chocolatey it's so nice it's not good for you but it's really really good and that was one pound ten maybe um i don't buy it every week because it's not good for you um and then I got the ketchup, Stanford Street ketchup. This one, there's no nothing bad in the ingredients on it. The one up from the Stanford Street one only had 10% more tomatoes in. And the way my children waste it, I don't really want to be wasting, you know, money on ketchup that's, you know, they're just going to squeeze onto their plate and not use all of it. So that was only 73p. Uh, Passata for 55p. I will use that in the chilli. Then I've got some smooth orange juices. These were £2.50, I think. And the kids will take those in their lunch boxes as a drink in their lunch. Lunch. Then I've got four things of squash, one orange and three blackcurrant because Charlie only drinks blackcurrant. Me, Gareth and Zach drink the orange. I mean, I mean, we drink these, but Charlie only drinks blackcurrant and Lily only drinks the lemon squash from Morrison's. So there we go. Um, I tell a lie, Gareth actually, he drinks the Rose's Lime Cordial, which I forgot to buy any of this week, but luckily he's got some in the cupboard. Um, extra long matches, they were a pound because I've got my like autumn candles out and we've got no matches left. I bought some bleach, which is 70p, obviously, for the toilet. And then some toilet roll. I have got a whole thing from Lidl last week, so I bought two. But I thought I'd pick another one up because you don't want to run out of toilet roll. That's something you do not ever want to run out of. Right, so that is my shopping, everybody. I hope that you have enjoyed the haul. It cost me just over £71. I'll put the full price on the screen now so you can see exactly how much it cost meal wise this week i'm going to try and remember it because it's actually on my email and i'm filming on my phone so tomorrow i'm doing a cheats roast i'm calling it a cheats roast because it's um it's it is a cheats roast but we'll see how that goes and then monday i'm going to do fajitas because my husband is not here he's away for work tuesday i've got a pork bolognese on the menu so what's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll do um, a pork chilli. And then another night, what have I got? What did I write down? Hmm, I might have to double check and come back to you for a second. Yeah, so then another night I'll be doing Thai red curry, which will be with chicken. And then tonight is Saturday and we've actually been at the pub all evening with my friends. And I got the kids some chips while we were out, but I'm just chucking some pizzas in the oven for them quickly. And I've had leftover dinner from last night. My husband is out at a stag do. So he's um, having a meal out, so I don't need to make any dinner for him. And then another night we're gonna have, oh, next Friday I'll do homemade pizzas and salad for dinner. So I think that covers us for the whole week. I have actually just signed up to HelloFresh because they had a huge discount on the first box. 
So I've ordered a couple of meals from them and I will see what that's like. I don't think I'll do it going forward um, regularly just because it's really expensive. It seems really expensive for two meals for four because they don't do an option for more than four. Um, it was like 40 quid and I just think that's quite steep really. So I'll see what it's like with the, um, I just basically wanted to try it and see what it's like. I've cancelled my Simply Cook because I've got lots of boxes backed up in the cupboard and I don't want to keep receiving boxes when um, I'm not getting through them quickly enough. So once they're all gone, I will decide whether I want to start that back up again or not, because that is um, not, that, that's not that expensive. Like if you do it, um, if you get one box every four weeks, it's 11.79 um, each box basically. So however long, however many you get. Uh, I was doing it two weekly. Um, and that's how I've just got so many boxes basically um, so yeah that's about it really anyway I hope that you've enjoyed this food haul and I'll hopefully see you in my next video take care everybody bye